I'm sorry. Hi, this is Bill, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Ron Mars. You are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I'll be here next week. In brightest day. In blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might. Beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern Podcast. I am Phil. Joining me, as always, Master of the Core, it is... I am Will. Hey, everyone. And tonight we'll be talking Green Lantern 171 through 175. We're almost at the end of this volume already, William. I know. It's... Been a long, strange journey. No, sorry. <laughs> we, covered, we covered every issue. We covered every issue of this volume, including the annuals. Oh, and one of those annuals. Uh, uh, the Nazi one. <laughs> the Nazi annual. Ugh. It's 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 pretty bad when uh, there's a Bloodlines annual in there, and you're like, that's not the worst one. An Eclipse. That's, that's not the worst one. one. Yeah. That's not no, the worst no. one. No, 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 no. It's the Nazi one. Totally the Nazi one. <laughs> I'll get on your card. Oh, yeah, Picard. Yes. <laughs> oh, Picard. Yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. I haven't talked to you since episode. You know, I talked to you. We, we talked after episode seven, and I was honestly, I felt it was a pretty weak episode. It was, uh, the, I mean, it's still good, but it was the weakest of of the episodes up to that point. But mm-hmm. it was an aberration because eight and nine, oh my god, the last episode has two. Well, it has more than two awesome moments in it, but it has two really awesome. Moments. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, one that I was, was not looking forward to, and one that was just pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, the end, the end. Yeah, that was. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When Jordy was like, I think I have something. I'm like, no, they wouldn't. He did. He did. <laughs> and the other one, I was like, damn, that means that's not going to happen now. So, oh, well. <laughs> uh, but the, the only thing, I mean, I enjoyed, I, I've been enjoying all the episodes, but doesn't it seem like the first eight or kind of went at a certain pace and then it almost seems like episode nine, they're like, oh, crap, we only have one more left after this. We got to hurry up and get stuff done. They put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> yeah, like the pacing was a lot quicker in episode nine than the previous eight. Well, I mean they they've been building up to it, which I I feel like maybe seven issues. Uh, sorry, episode seven. Maybe it could have been paced a little bit better to so that seven, eight, nine, and ten would have been more of kind of the same pacing instead of that you know super acceleration that we got you know in in nine. I mean I don't know. I I was just seven is is the standout to me because from a plot standpoint it just doesn't make a lot of sense and then yeah but uh, eight and nine awesome nine really awesome uh, oh just the, just forward. the last couple of minutes of nine I'm like oh it was well worth it just for the last couple of minutes of nine oh yeah it was it was definitely definitely awesome. How about how about I hope they kill us quickly? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's positive, right? <laughs> I am. Uh, oh, but I can't wait. Oh, but episode ten is going to be so good. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be something to look forward to on Thursday. That is for certain. It's going to be such a good episode, but it's going to be sad because it's going to be the last one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The last round. But, you know, it, uh, there are obvious threads they can take from this. You know, know, Picard's not going to be there. You know, it's probably the last hurrah for the original cast, but, uh, you know, you still got Seven, you've got Mm -hmm. Rafi, you know. 
And I am still expecting a uh, an appearance by a certain someone who we've not seen yet from uh, Next Gen. We saw him in season two, but we have the seen other son. The other son. Three. The other son. The other son. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I don't know. It's uh, it's been an awesome show. Uh, Stace has enjoyed it too. It's it's something that uh, yeah. And you know we've got new uh, you know, final final season of Discovery. We've got the the next season of Strange New Worlds coming out pretty soon. Um, yep. You know, lots of good Trek stuff. Oh yeah. Lots of good Trek stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, and, oh, uh, oh! Did we ever discuss uh, the uh, the finale? Oh, yeah, we did discuss the finale of Quantum Leap this season. Quantum finale. Leap, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, but yeah, no, that's the that's the thing I was been most excited for is Picard. I was like, <laughs> I know it's like, is it Thursday yet? Can we watch? Let's, let's watch the new episode. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, kids. Spoilers. Okay. Oh my god! They're, how awesome is that going to be when they're they're coming out the Borg with the with the Enterprise D? Oh my god! Yeah, that's. <laughs> you know, I, and it, I, it was funny they they paid off that line because earlier in the episode, you know, what was it? The first episode, you know, yeah, nobody likes the D. It's the fat one. That's what I think what he said or something along those. You know. <laughs> No, oh, they're gonna say when Shaw. Well, I thought you were gonna say when Shaw was like, "Oh yeah, you boys are crashing ships," and you know. <laughs> yep. I so love. I love. I love Worf. I love Worf though. He's like, "Oh, the the uh, weapon systems on the E," and they're like, "Shut up." <laughs> yeah, and, and he goes. Uh, yeah, he says something about the E, and he goes, "That was not my fault." So we don't know what happened to the E, right? <laughs> Kind of curious about that line. <laughs> I know. I mean, that completely took me by surprise. I thought, oh, if they get on a Enterprise, it's probably gonna be like whatever latest version of the Enterprise there is. But no. Well, and look at the character that they brought back, uh, which I thought was extraordinarily fitting. You know, and she. I know. <laughs> I was like, damn, they went there. They did, and uh, wow. <laughs> Although I saw, I, I did see people online complaining, at least one or two saying that should have been yeah, Admiral Janeway, damn it. Um, it makes more sense but, from but, a board standpoint to be her, I think, especially I, since we see what happens. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> it, it, yeah, or that final fate. Yeah, I don't think they wanted to give that to Janeway. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, it's been a uh, it's been a stellar series. This season has been stellar, you know, not to pardon the pun. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, when they all sat down and that oh my god, that last minute he's you know, it's just I swear, did they dub in like his old dialogue or something? Because I swear it's like you can hear tell he has old man voice, but when he said engage, man, he sounded nice and <laughs> <laughs> clear. He was like, engage. Yeah. <laughs> and boom, they were off. Yeah. I was ready. I, to, I, was, I, I was ready to cry, man. I was like, oh my God. This is so awesome. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, all right. Should we get to these guy gardener ask issues? <laughs> I guess. I so I mean, okay, we've got... I, mean, I mean, we can walk them through one by one, or we can talk to uh, talk about them as a whole. Because again, I don't have synopses for the. Oh, someone didn't want to write synopses for these. Uh... I wonder why. Uh, um, I, it's it is one story. It's the wanted story, right? So it's like a five issue arc of Green Lantern yeah. number one seventy one through one seventy five. Um, I don't know. I just a lot of this. Oh, do they pay off? Okay. The ending is nonsensical first. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, okay. I, I mean, we could jump there. Okay, kids. So at the end, worker looks like Cal's about to die. I mean, he basically seems to say, ah, screw it. And then he like does something. And then the next thing we see on Earth, Terry has, is on, it has the Green Lantern ring. Yeah. 
Ron Mars brings, I mean, again, I read ahead. Ron Mars br- brings it up uh, quickly in the for his first issue where it's just, we see Kyle back on earth and he goes, boy, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if uh, putting myself, you know, basically putting myself in the ring and sending it to Ch- Terry would work, but it worked, you know, but that's basically, <laughs> that's basically it. So, yeah. Well, do we see Lyra again? Because, you know, why the heck did she stab him? That makes no, there, there, it's nonsensical. I, 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 I <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, because at the end, yeah, because that's the thing, you, you know, we got uh, to get the uh, whole, uh, we defeat the bad guy, yeah, then Lyra stabs him, and it's, it seems like and a then kills, story. yeah, then kills Almond, sir, but we know he's not dead because he ends up joining the Sinestro Corps later, yeah. right? So, yeah, there's no, exp- no, there's no Lyra, there's no explanation of that, so. Wait, or, or am I? I've got to look that up. Am I mistaken for Tomar 2? Uh, oh, I can't remember. I, no yeah, doesn't Tomar 2 come back? Yeah. Insert DC. Okay. Boy, the, boy, the uh, relatives of all these ex-Green Lanterns are dicks. I know. I know. Uh, he was the last, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Oh, sir, sister's room. He then repeated his Alvin's prayer for how he finally gave a proper burial. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alvin had a camera how Jordan is for the hood. Okay, so I uh, know. Uh, apparently, he joined Astro Car. Uh, okay. Yeah, he joined the Sinestro Corps as well. So there we go. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't uh, we we don't know. So the end of this whole thing, we don't know, know what happens. We don't know why it happens. It never gets explained. It's just. It I was going to say that. Moving on. Do we ever, do we ever <laughs> see Lyra? Do we ever see Lyra again? I mean. that That is an excellent question. How do we spell her name? Oh, I can't remember. Is it two L's or something? Or hold on. I do have the uh, thing with the issue, like the credits and stuff. I wonder if her name's in here. Uh. Uh, oh but what about when you know cal's like uh basically you know he's uh posing as the bounty hunter and he uh, what is it vasquez isn't that like isn't that the name his father's you the last name his father's using or something i think so i mean <laughs> i t- I'm like, why does that sound I familiar just... and i was like wait a minute isn't that the name his father was you i mean it sounded too 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 human to me and i'm like isn't he supposed to be like an alien or something yeah i i don't know i, I yeah i don't know how to spell her name i'm just getting lyra from uh marvel oh yeah hold on i'm trying to find it here uh But yeah, this whole thing was very weird, uh, you know. And I, and again, it's the whole thing. It's like, oh, we got you know, he has to pose as this bounty hunter, get close to Almond, Almond Sir. It's like, why? Again, it's why? like, again, he has another, you know, he has another uh, black hole weapon or whatever. It's like, really? Yeah. Again, again, I mean, we've said it the, the past couple of weeks, but I mean the. They, they, were, they tried to build up Almond Sir, but it's just like he, it's always it, it never really worked, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, he has a whole mob. It's like so we we have to build up a whole Green Lantern Corps to take this guy down. I don't think. Huh? Yeah, it's just he's just a mob dude, you know. And yeah, the the whole this whole arc just didn't it. It never really felt like Green Lantern, right? To me, at least. Um, oh, it's Liana, L I A N N A. That's ah, what, that's we're getting the wrong name here. Yeah, L I A N N A. Yeah, L I and then Anna. Yeah. Uh, DC Comics. Uh, oh, there we go. I found her. Yeah, and the way they had her outfit, uh, it, uh, uh, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to go there, you know? <laughs> yes. Uh, um, let's see. That's what I need to imagine showing. After going to the Nintendo Delta Easy 4, uh, afterwards she was there to kill Alvin Sir. 
she was shown attempting to kill Amon Sir to stop him from in the process. She had turned on and attempted to kill Greenland, although her motivations remain unknown. Uh, it was really yeah. a sort of full set is a gym called the Heartstone. Um, uh, 15 appearances. So she appeared in Green Lantern Volume 3. 175, so that's the last time she appears in that volume. She appears in Green Lantern Volume 4, number 17, so post-rebirth, right before Sinestro Corps War, I think. And mm -hmm. then we get her in Omega Men, Volume 2, numbers 1 through 6. Didn't Kyle star in that Omega Men series? Is that right? You know what? I yeah, I believe so. I never read it. Maybe we should add that to the list when we get there, because I know Lilith actually yeah. read that. And I know, you know, she was never the biggest fan of Kyle Rayner. She said she did like Kyle in that book. So, okay, cool. So yeah, let's we'll we'll put that on the list. That would be a good one to catch up on. Oh yeah. I so, mean that's yeah. uh, that's post White Lantern Kyle, I believe, right? I think so. Which yeah. Is, like so, that's going to be like post New Fifty Two or during uh, New Fifty Two, somewhere in there. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a little bit to go before we get there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we get... And once again, Cal has his little crack team, you know, to like infiltrate. It's like, why aren't we giving these people Green Lantern rings? We talked about this last week. Why are we giving them Green Lantern yeah. rings? Why not? We know we, you know, we have rings that can duplicate, Right. <laughs> yeah, and again, and again, it's like if you don't trust the others, Kilowog was here the whole. Kilowog's here the whole time. Why aren't you giving him a ring? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, this, you know, we get uh, we get some Earth time stuff going on with you know uh, Jade and which is, uh, and then also you know Marin. Finally joining, you know, the DEO. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, it, it's... it's just so it's just so weird. I mean, I know Cal's been gone for a while, but it's just like everyone on Earth pushing Jade to be like, "Oh yeah, you should you should date you should, you should date someone else." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, really, no one's sticking up for Cal here. Well, yeah, okay, I get it, but he's been gone for months, right? That's true. That's <laughs> true. Oh yeah, I mean there there's nobody ain't nobody's playing this the right way. Kyle, Jade, nobody, so yeah. But I mean let's yep, Al for Lanamore and his uh relationship with uh Ceranic, which I think was I I really I really liked that one. Now it ends weird because of time travel and future kids stuff and she's now a yellow lantern, but you know. Yeah, like 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 things happen, you know, like they do. <laughs> yes, ah, uh, yes, and Almond Vader, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, did Kyle disguising his girlfriend as him killed didn't contribute to her getting killed? Is that I I thought that was a weird play, you know, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, especially with the ring, it's like, real. I mean, did did I mean? I guess or this, is this part of the ion upgrades? I was just like, it was a weird kind of. I, yeah. I mean, the, he has the ring. Why? Why would her electro whip affect him if he's being smart? You know, I mean. But again. And then, of course, you know, we have the traitor in the midst of the, you know, the former Green Lanterns, which is, which doesn't make sense because as a former, oh, you know, oh, they took me and tortured me, but you're a Green Lantern. You're a Green Lantern. You were a Green Lantern. You're still a Green Lantern. You know, that, yeah, I, I, I think, you know, this just, this doesn't feel like a green lantern story you know he's in, he's yeah using subterfuge you know it's he's got 
literally the most powerful, I prefer tool, uh, you know, in the universe. Use it, you know, hey, you want to find Amon Sir? Okay, go find him, you know, you can. It seems to be a very unimaginative way to try and take him down, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, uh, and, I, and, and the I art was, the, and I can't recharge the ringer. I might get caught, you know, even though it'll never run out of charge, but it'll get low. Yeah, I, and Almond Sir even talks about that. How is that even public knowledge? I, you know, I, I don't understand. <laughs> And then the guardians, you know, are having trouble with some black holes. You know, I sh it, it just seems weird. It just seems weird. You know, it just it just seems like Ben Rob wanted to go big for you know leading up to one seventy five, and I don't think, I don't, I don't think it doesn't feel like it worked. You know, no, not not to me. I mean, and that's and the art, you know, we had I think the same artist, but the art looks a little weird in places you know it mm -hmm. it doesn't have that uh, you know that nice sci-fi sheen you know I, I get it that we're going for you know a kind of a more of a gangster you know crime story here but i would argue that that probably wasn't the best way to go just because you know i this story didn't really work for me and I, I wonder if, like, maybe Ben Rob thought this was the end of the series, but then whether they needed more time or they pushed back for some reason. I mean, well, again, we could ask Ron Mars for that next week, but it's just like I wonder mm -hmm. if the original plan was to end at one seventy five or I don't know. I uh, yeah, I hadn't read these originally, so but yeah, yeah I, I can only imagine I can't, I can't, being. A... I can't remember when we got the announcement for. Uh, rebirth i swear i remember that we knew rebirth was coming during the at least during the ron mars arc i'm not sure if before but i know during the ron Ma mars arc because i was all worried i'm like oh god they're not going to kill cow are they like in those uh, last let's... yeah i mean that and they could have easily went that way and i think it was you know to their credit they they didn't go that way Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that yeah. was because that gives us that great scene. Uh, OK, it looks like Jeff Johns first announced his plans to resurrect Hal Jordan in an April 2004 issue of Wizard. Hey. Noting that he had been working on the five issue miniseries for a year and it was due for an October release. So April 2004, April 2004 was the cover date of Green Lantern 174. So. Okay, and if he had been working on it for a year, then they knew back in the 160s, right? Eh, yeah. Interesting. Maybe they knew when Ben Rob, as soon as Ben Rob took over. Yeah, because, well, he only got 11 issues, so they actually knew before he took over, right? Because it was yeah, 12 yeah. months before. Interesting, very interesting. Um, again, which would also and, kind of it, send us your questions for Ron Mars like this for next week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which kind of explains why you know, uh, while the art was solid, you know, it wasn't mm -hmm. anything spectacular. I mean, I think that kind of explains why the artists that you know were on the book for the last twelve months have not been you know DC's top tier artists or even really their yeah. second tier artists. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, because you know, <clears throat> a lot of times they'll be like, "Ah, oh, we don't have to worry about the art. It's it's coming to a close anyway." But yeah, so I mean, it. Re I know we mentioned this last time we talked, but it maybe it what you know maybe I wasn't just being crazy for that reason. I know. Let's keep it. <laughs> but it, you know, it maybe it did really feel like it was winding down. I mean, obviously we're we know it's winding down because yeah, you know yeah. we've got you know. Uh, all of this new knowledge now, but uh, yeah, it just because uh, you know, there's a lot of the stories that just show up that don't really 
you know, they're, they're never referenced again. It's like they never happened, you know? Um, I mean, like these Ben Robb issues, not even so much closing up shop. It almost seems to me like maybe we're just like killing time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree with that. And, and isn't it funny all of a sudden we're not mentioning the specter in, in any way, shape or form. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> wonder why that is. Oh, I wonder. If, I wonder if that's why all of a sudden kill Wong became Kyle's best friend. Potentially. Well, and it makes a lot more sense that they got Kilowog back to standard GL form ready for yeah. rebirth because they've, they've known about it for, you know, rebirth was already in the works. So, you know, that makes a lot of sense. What, and what, okay, so what, it, that's one less Voldarian we have to sw turn around. <laughs> if, if he had been working on it since, say, if 174 was April 2004, go a year back would be uh, 162, issue 162, right? Yeah, that would put us around. Oh, is that that's going to be around it's the that, end that of green, green Arrow uh, cross that crossover, right? Yeah, end of Winnix run, right? So, yeah, I think it was partly rearranging deck chairs you know, on the Titanic as it's going down. And the other part was doing things to prep for, you know, the coming relaunch, really, mm -hmm. which is interesting. And then, you know, I have to say, though, that that what, you know, just, you know, biding time, killing time, I, I really... You know, I'm not a huge fan of, but them choosing to bring back Ron Mars, I think, is is pretty freaking awesome because you know he can speak directly to the big, kind of the beginning of this era since he's the one that started it. Mm -hmm. He created you know, he created Kyle with uh, Derek Rob uh, no Daryl Daryl Banks Daryl Banks Ugh, I can't talk tonight and you know wrote him for six almost seven years. And now he gets to, you know, put everything away, flip the light switch off and, you know, lock the door on his way out, which I think is really kind of cool. Well, that was the other thing that worried me. I was like, oh, God, are they bringing in Ron Mars to, you know, kill his baby or something? Mm -hmm. You know, I was just like. Because mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. oh, hey, re rebirth and, the, you know, how Jordan's returning and, oh, hey, Ron Mars is coming back to write the last arc. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, this is big deal. <laughs> who do do you know who does the art in the next arc? Oh, um, I can't remember. I did. It's not Banks. It's not Banks, though, is it? No, it is. It is not Banks. Yeah, yeah. no, it's definitely not Banks. Uh, hold on, let me see. One seventy six. Luke Ross. Okay, Luke's. He's a. Uh, he's been around a while. I think I remember him doing Firestorm back in the late eighties. So you know, he's he's a solid artist. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I like I said, I already read that arc. Yeah, no complaints on the arc. But yeah, they're, they're seeing and they're to end it that way though, and then bring Mars in. It's just a you know, obviously they knew that Rebirth was coming for a long time. You know, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It just seems so weird that they would end at 175 on a cliffhanger like that, and then like, oh, okay, Ron Mars, here you go. Here, yeah. And then it's because let's. Yeah. I'll just say, Ron Mars's uh, arc is very centered on Earth. So, mm -hmm. was well, which I, means... unless, unless that was just a quick way to get Cal back to Earth. I don't know. Maybe. Do we get any of the Guardians or Kilowog stuff? No, not really. Huh. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Cool, cool, cool. Again, All very, right. <laughs> very Earth-centric. You know, well, there's a little bit of John. Of course, we're going to deal with the Jade thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And we don't was... see uh, Marin. We don't see Marin again. Oh, ever. No, yeah, no. Uh, I'm trying to... Was she in that arc? I can't... Or uh, I can't remember... Because I, I pretty much read these, and then I read, uh, I like basically read right into the Ron Mars arc, so it's kind of uh, melting together. But 
because what where's the what's the last we see of Marin in, in this uh in this uh 171 through 175 her, her job going. application for uh, her interview with uh, the DEO oh with the John Stewart sending the robots in spoilers yeah <laughs> okay uh oh we see her in JSA volume 1 number 5 oh that is it oh we also see her in the DC retroactive story green. Oh, that's okay. That's old. Um, that's the DC retroactive green lantern in the nineties. I don't yeah. know. That supposedly takes place back then, but she appears in 174. She appears in the secret files and origins volume one, number three. And then she appears in JSA volume one, number five. And I don't think that that's on our reading list, right? I don't believe so. No, but I, I did. JSA number because uh because uh, the ones for the the episode we're doing right before rebirth I think those it's JSA past number oh yeah five. oh but yeah it, this was back in December of ninety nine so it yeah. was just an old probably guest appearance or something so yeah, yeah one seventy four I think would be her pretty much last appearance yeah because I think it's pretty they pretty much you know the D you know she's basically getting the job with the DEO but she has to move to Arizona or something mm -hmm. yeah. So. Yeah, that's pretty so, yeah, much it. That's pretty much it for her. Uh, you know, former Dark Star. You know, because hey, the Dark Stars. You know, while not Green Lanterns, Dark Stars are still kind of cool. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, I mean, it does feel like closing time, right? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> but oh, again, also, um... uh, hmm. there was a mention that Jade was, you know, appearing in the new Outsiders. Yes. You know, so I think that may be another reason why, you know, that split had to happen as well. Yes. Yes. Because, yes, that was very Earth centric. Because, uh, uh, yeah, cows are all over the place. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> For, for it to be such a science fiction -y and, you know, what Ron Mars called it a, a special effects book, there weren't a lot of, there, there are not a lot of constructs. There's, hey, I blast you. Oh, there was a bomb that had big eyes on it or something in one of the issues. But, I mean, there wasn't a lot of, it was like, you know, it's more like a laser gun than it is, you know, a Green Lantern ring because he was yeah. just blasting people. So, yeah, it, uh Okay, I have a question for you, Phil. Yes, because sir. I, I, I don't know the answer for me. I think I might know the answer for me, but I, I'm curious as to what your answer is. So, tell me what to think. Okay, go ahead. Ben Ben Robb's run here. Yes, sir. Versus Winnick's run. Ooh, ooh. Um... <laughs> what? Which would you choose? It's hard to pick. It's close, but I'd say maybe the win. Love or hate his direction. It seems like at least Winnick had like a plan in mind. This seems a little more by flying by the seat of your pants. Mm -hmm. And you know he did some good things after the Ion, oh, yeah. you know, leading up. But uh, yeah, you know, if you take into account you know those those early bumpy issues, you know, like the first four or five he did, those were you know, kind of not the best, you know, and Rob, Rob is even, right? You know, his, his issues all, there's not one that stands out as either great or, you know, horrible. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. You're, you're probably right. You know, Winnick's run is probably you know quality just a little bit better but man it's close it really is close <laughs> all right here's here's uh i'm sure you'll probably agree but uh going out on a limb here this whole volume of green lantern i mean again we haven't read the the run well you you haven't read that last ron mars yeah. arc yet but um <clears throat> would you say ron mars is maybe the best writer we've had this volume oh without a doubt even over the even, even over he who would not be named. Yeah, because rereading rereading his issues 
Yeah. The road back, um, I was remembering it a lot more fondly than it was yeah. because it was it wasn't as the pacing on it was was really slow. You know, we didn't get to the to like six issue six, five or six. You know, it was a lot of Hal walking around with gray hair. You know, Guy Gardner being a whatever he was at that point. Um, don't get me wrong. I really think the road back is, is, is good, but it's not as good as I remembered it. Yeah. Uh, after, after that, I don't, the rest, the rest of the run is not awesome. You know, it really isn't. Uh, there's a lot of tinkering with past continuity, you know, to try to fix things that, you know, okay, first off, if you don't bring it up, you don't have to fix it, right? Um, and, you know, ultimately, his plans to get Hal out of the way for the reboot at 50, you know, which was, you know, have him go kind of rogue um, again. Um, you know, it's... Yeah, I would I definitely... I'd have to say Mars. Uh, the... Yeah. The... In my mind, Mars really ushered in modern Green Lantern. Now, I'm not a fan of Emerald Twilight, okay? And and I think, I think well, that was that, that was orders. That 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 was yeah, that, that was, was orders. Order. Yeah, yeah, that was under orders, and I completely understand that. I just feel like it was, you know, suddenly, you know, oh yeah, he's always been like this. You know, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> so, no. But, you know, starting fresh with Kyle, I mean, you know, granted, you know, we've got that horrible person, Hal Jordan mentioned, you know, every few issues, you know. <laughs> that SOB, yes, I know. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, in the, in the cosmic scheme of things, you know, if you take a, a kind of a long view, Mars and Banks did wonderful things for Green Lantern, right? Yes. Because oh, they yeah. brought a lot of attention to the title and they sold a lot of books and made sure that Green Lantern, you know, kind of stayed relevant because before they came on, it it wasn't selling well and, you know, it wasn't, it was just okay. You know, you, that, that's probably like the worst thing you could say about it. It's, it's just okay. And that's whoa, not... Whoa. Good enough. And, and, yeah, and again, too, we're like we we're saying, he who will not be named was doing like deep dives in the stories from like 20, 30 years before. Exactly, you know. You know. And it was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oregano. Sorry, it's not the way to keep it fresh. <laughs> yes, oregano is not the way to keep it fresh. No. <laughs> However, you know, if it weren't for uh, you know Mars and Banks, you know. Green Lantern would have been kept alive during, you know, the the mid nineties to the early two thousands. We wouldn't have got, you know, the Spectre by J.M. DeMatteis, which is a wonderful series that is still not collected. DC, it needs to be collected. It does. Cool. <laughs> um, and then you know that really paved the way for, I think probably the, the best relaunch of a character in a superhero universe that's ever been done. I mean, I, I, and it's not just because I love how Jordan, I mean, just look at everything that was added, you know, I of course love how Jordan. Yes. But look at everything that was added to the mythos, you know, that, oh, that yeah. we got and, you know, but all, it, and it, it resonated, you know, he took a character that had been, you know, turned evil, killed because, you know, he's lame, nobody likes him, blah, blah, blah. Brought that character back and then enriched the, you know, the mythology around that to, to make it, you know, one of the, you know, a powerhouse seller for, you know, a decade, right? You know? Oh, yeah. Was... I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the, I mean, the two big things that revitalized some of these franchises, like Flash with the Speed Force, which Mark Wade created, mm -hmm. and then the emotional spectrum, yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's, you know, it uh, it's just amazing. And, you know, it all comes back to, 
you know, Mars and Banks rebooting Green Lantern, you know, oh, you know, back in the, you, today, that would have been a new number one. Oh, know, yeah. Green yeah, Green yeah, yeah. 48, so, <laughs> but, uh, Or they would have went to yeah. 50 and 51 would have been the new number one. Number one, exactly, yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and they were there putting in the work, you know, issue, you know, month in, month out for, you know, nearly seven years. And Green Lantern was strong through all of those seven years. Oh yeah. And then it then it wasn't. <laughs> then it wasn't. <laughs> and I, oh. I just one more time. I I don't know who designed the new costume, and I'm sure you're a great artist. And I I I just I hate that costume. I hate it. <laughs> I really Again, hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not my favorite either, especially from my favorite from my favorite Green Lantern. But it's one of those suits where only a a certain artist can make it look decent. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's too complicated. Again, it's like it's it's a freaking ring construct. It doesn't have to look like real clothing or you know. It could it could look like a you know a an emerald energy mech okay you know it, it can be anything <laughs> yeah so i you know it, it's really weird kind of looking back on green lantern you know even back to the the beginning of this volume right you know because it's it launched in 1990 you know and uh -huh. then we we got four four and a half years of you know, the he who shall not be named. And it, you know, they tried, the, there was the third law crossover, then there was a crossover with Legion and. Uh, Mud that Legion crossover. I mean, issue Legion. 46. Oh, and Dark Stars. Yeah. Dark Stars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say 46 was Reign of the Supermen, but I think the writing was on the wall by that point. I think so too. Yeah. Otherwise, they would not have nuked Coast City. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're getting rid of Kyle Jordan. We're getting rid of Coast City. That's right. Absolutely. But, you know, it... Uh, it really was... Mars and Banks really were kind of that modern storytelling on Green Lantern. Previously, yeah. it was still, you know, kind of... Which is which is weird because that writer, which you know we we talked about, yes, was able to do such great work on a book like Wonder Man, right? With artist Jeff Johnson, yes, friend of the and, show Jeff Johnson. Yeah, yeah, the writing on Green Lantern was so so different. You know, it was it was like it was kind of you know hearkening back to an earlier type of writing. And I really don't think it worked really well at all. Uh, you know, it was just, eh, you know, there was, I don't know. But, uh, you know, with with Mars and Banks on Green Lantern, you know, we got, we got, you know, Mars's approach, which was, you know, a, you know, straight superhero, granted, you know, I get that. Mm -hmm. And I, I missed all of the mythos, the mythology of all the Green Lantern stuff, but it was also a a less dense read than the writer had come before because those were really, really wordy, which is again not the way that he wrote Wonder Man or you know some of the other books, many other books that he wrote. So I, I really feel like Mars and Banks don't necessarily get enough credit for kind of bringing the title into a modern, you know, modern storytelling because you got, you know, new coloring on it, new pay, you know, the, the paper stock was now different and it just, it feels like a more modern book than, you know, even, you know, number 45, 46, right. Yeah. You know, it just, there's a real, there's a real divide between the way those issues look and feel doing it modern and doing it well because remember that was 1994 i mean that we could have easily gotten violence and pouches and guns and stuff and we need more pouches we need more pouches oh yes 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, the the uh, what was it was it last week? Lilith and I were doing an episode on like you know some of the worst uh, comic books, and uh, <clears throat> of course I brought up Avengers: The Crossing, which Justin and I just did four parts of for Marvel <laughs> Tales. <laughs> but no, I was looking for a picture of the crossing to put up on the screen, and someone else had done a review of it. And I'm assuming it's a show that, like, it's either a blog or a show that must review a lot of '90s stuff. You know what the name was? It's perfect. The Pouch Fowls. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that is great. <laughs> well, you know, Ow. we or leather. Ja- you need leather jackets, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> Wait, what? What's your? You're gonna do something with the electric mullet? What it is? Oh yes. Um, if 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 I ever did a show where I cover all the all '90s Superman, yes, electric mullet, yes. <laughs> nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, you know, this it's interesting because there's some are these hundred and seventy five issues that we've you know gone through. Which is a lot. There are some good issues, you know. the The road back is yes. is good. It's 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 good. <clears throat> but you know, the next arc uh, is a Guy Gardner. It's a comic. You know, it's it's just comedy, right? With him and Gnort. Uh We get a John Stewart arc, which kind of sets up the mosaic. Yep. The mosaic is the mosaic is a lot of things. I think we, you know, we would need a whole show just to talk about what the mosaic is. <laughs> but um, I feel like the mosaic is is a really interesting, you know, title, and what was going on there. I, I'm anyway. We we can we'll we'll chat more about that later. But then after you know, mosaic seemed to be the the focus of the writer and the the regular and then guy Gardner was straight comedy right mm-hmm. and then the green lantern title after that was just kind of it felt like it was treading water as well you know just kind of killing time there was well it's like star, star, going on. Star, star sapphire's back we, we bring carol back and then you know by yeah. the time we get through that it's like oh hey hal and guy are gonna duke it out to see who stays in the core yeah which you know that was what issue twenty five and yep. not a fan of that either because no just no <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, then you know we jump into some of the crossovers with you know the dark stars and legion and the third law crossover which is, is that Krona I think that was Krona wasn't yeah. it the, yeah uh, uh, whatever yeah I, can, I don't barely remember that and then it's reign of the Superman and we're done. Right, boom, yep. and we get a new modern Green Lantern title at that point. Heck yeah! Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, those first now you may have mentioned it. Yeah, those first like forty-seven issues. It's just like, yeah, that kind of. <laughs> well, again, after twenty-five, we're spinning out. John Stewart's getting his own book. Guy Gardner's getting his own book. Jose, so. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it's like you know, there's not, and, and guy's book was just straight up comedy, you know, at that point. Which oh, that was I, the ni- I, that was the '90s pouches book, yeah, yeah. I, and I feel like when what was it, Bo Smith took over writing it? I think it was Bo think Smith, so. right? Yeah, I think so. It seemed it got a lot better, you know, and and that guy was a lot more. Not the previous guy. <laughs> so, well, they tempered him too, and then it's like they he really they really kind of sobered him up once you know Emerald Twilight hit. Exactly, yeah. And you know, and then so we got Guy Gardner Warrior after that. But you're right, the 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 main Green Lantern title was just kind of I guess it was coasting. I mean, it feels like it was coasting. There just wasn't a lot going on, and it was either fighting starlings on a beach on earth they steal, steal, his <laughs> land, steal his lantern and oh hey look i am a stranger i can tell you how to uh use green lanterns yeah. factory. <laughs> oh no that must be that must, that must be green lantern with his hand already on the battery well okay and there's actually a really good 
Is that where Hal jumps out of a plane without a chute? Yes. And is able to okay. And it's and and okay, that's kind of cool ish, but it's mm. done. I feel like Jeff Johns does it so much better in that first Manhunter arc. After yes. Earth. When he's coming, I mean, yeah, he's coming for that lantern. <laughs> exactly. It just like basically uh-huh. smashes through the canopy. Yeah. I mean, so it, it's it really is about execution. You know, there's that yeah. same idea mm-hmm. done. Uh, and then done, you know, spectacularly, you know, in a in a much more modern book. But uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how Ron Mars ends everything up. I mean, you yeah. just read it. I haven't I haven't read it yeah. yet. So, oh my god! But I'm like I'm like, wait a minute, we're doing a wrap up of the uh, volume one. But I guess so. I mean, Ron Mars and uh, Dan are going to be here next week, so we might not have a chance to talk all this. And then oh, after that. Yeah. After that, we're talking three JSA issues, and then for that rebirth. <laughs> what? What? I, I, what's? What's that? I've not heard of this story, Phil. <laughs> rebirth. Rebirth. <laughs> yeah. It. Uh... Oh, that's what I should do. The crawl in the bottom of the screen. That episode just it'll just say yes. rebirth is here. It is rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> it's is rebirth. Rebirth. <laughs> Yeah, I'll rebirth and no fun. No. I'll rebirth and no rest make, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I kind of feel like this, yeah, this is kind of our only chance to look back at the this whole series, you know, because we'll have Ron and Dan here, you know, next week. And yeah. um, I'm, I'm really curious, too, because I, I want to, I, I do want to see how he approached these kind of last six issues. You know, he, if he knew what was coming down or if it was just, you know, these are going to be the last issues. Did he have any knowledge about, you know, rebirth and how that was going to play out or anything like that? Because. Did he even know they were going to use Cal in, in uh, rebirth? And yeah. Mm-hmm. I think those did, are did, excellent did questions. Have- did he have one? I mean, I don't think Ron Mars wanted to anyway, but it was like, was there orders? Don't kill Cal. You know, was yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. Don't that's a power Cal. <laughs> well, and then, uh, you know, once rebirth happens, it kind of solidifies that, for lack of a better term, the core of the core it was four dudes from Earth, right? Yes. <laughs> Hal, Kyle, John, is, and uh, Guy. The four corpsmen, yes. The four corpsmen. And you know, then we get you know, we get even more with uh, the new fifty two reboot. We get yes. Simon, Simon, we get Jess. Jesse. Then of course we get uh, Joe. Um, we get Joe. Yep. So and then we also are getting a new Green Lantern title in about a month. <laughs> Four weeks, was, something like I was that. Say, yeah, what's the date? Is it even a month? Uh, hold on. It's like May eighth. Uh, is that right? Is that a Tuesday or a Wednesday? I, I forget. I mean, it's DC, so I'm sure it's a Tuesday. But uh, yeah. But I mean, I mean, if it's the eighth, I mean, we got less than a month. Today's the fifteenth. Uh, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how we don't remember. We only we've only been talking about this every week. I think at least the last we... three months, right? Two months <laughs> since we found out that it was finally coming out. <laughs> Ooh, four ninety nine, forty pages. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, yeah, because you get that John Stewart backup too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. May 9th. May 9th. All right. For a little under a month. You... I was gonna say, is that like three weeks or so? <laughs> So it's three weeks from Tuesday, I think, isn't it? Because oh. Tuesday's the 18th. Let's see. 25th. Second night. Yeah, three weeks. Yep. What's up on this? Okay, so yeah, it's not going to work out completely perfectly. So maybe the week after we do rebirth, we might have that new Green Lantern issue. So nice. Very nice. That's a uh we totally planned that, you know, two years ago, two years and some change ago. <laughs> oh, man, if I could do that, man, I'd be playing the lottery tonight. Exactly. <laughs> so All right. what, are, what are you what are your thoughts on this volume, Phil? Do you have anything that you want to? I mean, I think we I think you summed them up pretty well. I mean, it's, you know, 
you know, he who will not be named, you know, hit or hit or miss. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I think we enjoyed that flash crossover with Gorilla yep. Grodd and Victor Hammond. Uh, Mark, thank you, Mr. Mark Wade. Yes, <laughs> the writer on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the highlights. Oh, yeah. So we, then we did go to, we did have that Adam Strange two parter and where we brought oregano back up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, and then that, that immediately following that, Predator and uh, Deathstroke. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about 90s. Yeah. Pouches, lots of pouches. <laughs> oh, but hold on, hold on. Uh, I know you're saying about all the uh, Guy Gardner uh, comedy, but uh, without that first guy Gardner arc, we would not have such classics as he gives me his bone. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> uh. I mean, and you know, even looking back on that silent issue of Green Lantern, well, sorry, has one word in it, right? Uh, oh, that's the guy. Oh, guy Gardner. Guy Gardner. Actually. That was a guy Gardner. Yes. Issue. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know I, that. I mean, a silent issue is technically a difficult thing to do, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, because it's all show and no tell. Um, but I don't know that that era of Guy Gardner is just so unlikable, right? He the character is just so unlikable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and. On purpose, I get that, but still, you know, I like the uh, the more mature guy we got, you know, after, you know, like Guy Gardner year one, that was his mm -hmm. like second year, I think, and then, um, then he has to become warrior for obvious reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, we're back. We're almost on the cusp of uh, Guy Gardner getting a ring back. So that's true. Yeah, which is a really cool, cool thing. <laughs> oh, but rebirth the rebirth episode, or at least issue six. Ray, I'm ex I'm expecting feedbacks. I told Ray, I said, hey, I sent him that 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 one page. I'm like, here, <laughs> I'm like, this is me and Will are covering this in a few weeks. He's like, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Green lettered rebirth. Issues one through six. <laughs> Punching out someone's favorite character. Batman. That's right. My favorite <laughs> character. Nice. Um, but yeah. You know, I think I think we've done this this volume of Green Lantern Justice, you know? Uh, looking yes. at all the issues and and uh, I have to say I would I was surprised because one I did not enjoy the he he shall not be named writers issues as much as I remembered them. You know, I, so they, they don't hold up for me personally. And obviously my time reading, you know, the Mars and Banks version of Green Lantern was colored by, you know, they took Halloway, but you know, going back and rereading them, you know, they're, they're good. They're really good. I didn't give them a fair shake at the time. And then my, excitement to read the Winnick run quickly turned to disappointment. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like Ben Robb's run is, is just kind of there. It, it right? almost seems like, remember between the, uh, the Mars and Winnick run, he did those fill-in issues. It feels like we got a bunch of those. It, it feels like we got a year of fill-in here too. Yeah, exactly. So I'm looking forward to the last six issues and what comes next? <laughs> oh, after that? Oh, those three JSA issues. Yes, exactly. That's the, I've been waiting for those for a long time, Phil. I know. Really long I know. time. <laughs> but yeah, kids, well, I mean, we haven't said it enough this episode, but yes, next episode, we're covering those last six issues with Dan from uh, the Mosaic podcast, right? Mm -hmm. And... Some other guy. Uh, yes, that's right. Mr. Ron Mars, who wrote those issues, returning exactly. once again. Mm -hmm. So, friend of the show, Ron Mars, returns next week, kids. Uh, 
This is Ron Mars. You are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Yay. Yay. So we've taken this title from the 90s up to 2004. Does this end in 2004? The last issue is 2004? Uh, I think, yeah, because uh, yeah, 175 was May, to, uh, May 2004. So, yeah. So. Oh, so this will be like uh, November of 2004 then. Something All right. Like awesome. That. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. We're catching up, but we're about to have a lot more stuff to read. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a couple titles. And then once we hit New 52, I mean, there's going to be green. Four. Red, Green Lantern, the, two, a core, the Green Lantern, Green Lantern Core, Red Lantern, Larsley gets a title eventually, Sinestro gets a title eventually, New Guardians is a title. I mean, you know, we're going to have some Ion uh, oh, yeah, series Ion. two in there. Uh, oh, we're going to hit Blackest Night, kids. So uh, there's going to be lots of stuff going on there. That's going to take a while. There's because all those limited, you know, there's three issue limited series around. There's like what eight or ten of those three issue limited series. We're going to have to tackle yeah. two or three of those. <laughs> yeah, we're going to figure out show. how we're. Gonna, I mean, we'll figure out how we're going to do those if we want to do all of them, or yeah, mm -hmm. or just summarize them and say this happened and this happened and this happened or or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're we're uh, we're about to launch into. Uh, a pretty amazing time for Green Lantern fans. Exactly. All right. So we done, William? I think so, sir. All right. So, yes, kids, once again, send your thoughts, send your questions for Mr. Ron Mars. Uh, email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. <clears throat> and make sure you check out all things Capes and Lunatics, uh, episodes, social media, merchandise, the Patreon. Please go subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, find it all at tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. All right. Speaking of comic book writers, Mr. Will Allred, where can people <laughs> find you and all of your works and crossover, especially crossover division? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, you can find me at Walred. That's at W A L L R E D at Gmail and Twitter and Facebook and other places too. I think if I can remember right. Uh, if you want to find uh, my comics work, uh, currently I'm writing a book called Crossover Division. Uh, it's at crossoverdivision.com. On uh, I'm actually pushing the launch back a week uh, just to get so we can get some additional things done. So we'll be launching the hardcover of crossover division it's called crossover division volume one fictions and other truths it'll be launching on kickstarter on april 25th and if you want to read uh diary of night uh, you can check it out at diaryofnight.com phil is not the only uh you know awesome podcaster that i uh, annoy on a week-to-week -week basis uh, i also do a show with uh writer kevin joseph uh, it's called explain yourself where we bring on uh Comic creators who use crowdfunding uh, to uh, get their books made, uh, typically on Kickstarter, and we uh, bring them on to explain their books when they have their campaigns running. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's Fridays at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central, and you know, come on and find some some new comics potentially. And finally, uh, obviously you have great taste. You're here, you know, watching us, so you. Uh, Definitely love Quasar. And if you want to find out more about Quasar, you can check that out at the Quantum Zone, quantumzone.org. Hey, you boys. You look at the party. I love the party. I hope it's going somewhere nice. <laughs> Seems like I'm getting a package every other day. <laughs> I am God. And the button is going to get a workout in a couple weeks, sir, kids. I, of course, love how Jordan. Oh, indeed. Indeed. He's going to be able to sit down that episode, kids. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us again. Yes, the March the Rebirth. Yes, we're what like one three weeks away for Rebirth. Yeah, but again, yeah, it's gonna be fun between now and then. Ron Mars and Dan from the Mosaic Podcast will be here next week. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's gonna be boring between now and Rebirth. It's not, kids. That's right. We're gonna look back on the beginning of the beginnings of Kyle and. Uh... In the end, at the end of this uh, volume. Yep. And talk to his creator. 
which is really right, cool. Kid. Come back next time. And remember, you're taken down in Intergalactic Mafia. Do not be boring. Good night. <laughs>